A cutting-edge Russian Su-57 multipurpose fighter jet was struck at the Aktobinsk airfield in Russia's Astrakhan Oblast, 589 kilometers from the war zone in Ukraine, on June 8. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine reported this, referring to satellite images of the aircraft parked at the airfield. Defense Intelligence of Ukraine observed that images from June 7 show the Su-57 intact, while images dated June 8 reveal craters from the explosion and distinct fire marks caused by the strike. The hitting of the Su-57 is the first such case in history. The Su-57 is a Russian cutting-edge fighter jet, capable of firing KH-59 and KH-69 missiles. Russia's aerospace forces have only a handful of these combat aircraft in service. While the United States and its NATO allies have the fifth-generation all-weather stealth multi-role combat Lockheed Martin F-35, the Russian equivalent is the Sukhoi Su-57, NATO reporting name Felon. Originally called the T-50, before changing the name to the Su-57, the aircraft suffered from numerous delays and made its maiden flight on January 29, 2010. Ten prototype aircraft were built for testing purposes, but structural cracks were discovered on the airframes. This further set the project back and led to a redesign incorporating more composite material and a slightly longer wingspan. Further issues and accidents during testing led to the Su-57 introduction being pushed back from 2015 until 2020. Ukrainian special services regularly shoot down Russian aircraft. For example, the fighters of the 110th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces shoot down Russian Su-25 practically every week. Among the significant targets, the downing of an A-50 and the damaging of an IL-22 should be noted. RBC Ukraine reported on January 14, citing sources in the Defense Forces, that the Ukrainian Armed Forces shot down a Russian A-50 aircraft over the Azov Sea and damaged an IL-22. Houthis will target U.S. ships with new hypersonic missiles. The Yemeni militia targeted the USS Dwight Eisenhower, Dimitz class supercarrier, in the Red Sea last week amid the continued intensification of American and British air and missile strikes inside Yemen. The Houthis will hit the American aircraft carrier parked in Yemen's backyard harder next time around, militia leader Abdul Malik Al Houthi has vowed. The American aircraft carrier Eisenhower will remain a target for our armed forces whenever the opportunity arises, Al Houthi said in his address. The facts will become clear no matter how much the Americans try to deny the targeted operations and the upcoming strikes will be more effective. Al Houthi added, offering new details on last week's Houthi missile and drone barrage targeting the USS Eisenhower amid American denials that the operation did any damage to the supercarrier or its escorts, the Houthi leader emphasized that the attack was more successful than Washington is letting on. The operation targeting the aircraft carrier Eisenhower was successful and overflights stopped for two days following the attack, Al Houthi said, referring to American attacks over Yemeni airspace. The official added that while the U.S. warship was situated about 400 kilometers from Yemen before the Houthi attack, it was forced to sail 480 kilometers northwest to safety in its aftermath. The operation was one of the most notable and important operations to be carried out this week. Al Houthi said, American warships flee and change their source when the operations are successful, the militia leader said. U.S. Central Command vociferously denied Houthi claims that the U.S. Eisenhower was damaged in the Yemeni militia's attacks. Al Houthi's comments come after the Yemeni militia released footage of a new locally made hypersonic missile called the Palestine being launched toward the embattled Israeli Red Sea port city of Elat. Israeli officials confirmed that Elat had been targeted but indicated that there was no damage or injuries to report. The new Yemeni solid fuel missile's warhead was painted in a checkered pattern reminiscent of a kefir scarf. 
Western observers spotted outward similarities to the Fatah, an Iranian hypersonic missile unveiled in 2023, which can travel up to 1,400 kilometers at speeds of up to Mach 15. The range and speed characteristics of the Houthi missile remain unknown, but the distance between Houthi-controlled areas of Yemen and Ilat is closer to 1,700 kilometers.